Hello, I'm Ruli, and you're watching the 33rd video of my Recalcitrant Warden storyline playing Dragon Age Origins. To recap, this is Dirk, and Dirk and his friends Alistair, Morrigan, and Zevran have just cannonballed into the secret lair of the werewolves, where they will, Dirk hopes, come face to face with the mysterious Witherfang. If he follows Zathrian's instructions, Dirk will kill Witherfang and bring his heart back to the Dalish camp to cure the werewolf sickness. Or... Well, Dirk has some doubts about that, so if he can get the werewolves to talk, then they will talk. Here we go. Look at that, I kept my stealth even through the swimming that. I'm getting good at stealth, can I just say I'm good at stealth? And I got some corpse gold. I don't really need that anymore. Let's sell it. I like that these ones are dead already. Love! Already dead. <laughs> enraged corpses. No longer enraged. Unless they're about to come back to life. In which no, case, they're, they're just slightly annoyed cor irritated. corpses. They're, they're no longer enraged. <laughs> oh, so many enemies through this door. All right. Everyone ready? Here we go. Let them get past me. And stab them in the back. Ouch, 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 ouch. Okay, somebody, somebody get a wall free. Oh, Morgan. Oh, I'm down. Uh oh. I'm not sure who I am. Bravo. Okay. Hey, Dirk, you back with us? What would you like? Eep. That was not fun. How many of these do we have left? Oh, good thing we picked up a few. All right, Morgan. Morgan, you all right? I see. That was, um, wow, you made it Pew, through the first wave. <clears throat> Those werewolves are no joke. Sheesh. It's gonna get worse, isn't it? All right, well, none of itself, don't get jumped on. And they carry money, so that's good. We just have money. All right. You know, now might be a good time to put on some of that nature salve because it'll probably help you against the next wave. Yeah, because they're crit they're critters. So really? I think. So sense of awareness, maybe we push, can't do that. Try it anyway. It might it might give you a little edge. <clears throat> what? Yeah, the grounding one is for electricity, if you know someone's going to be attacking you with lightning spells. Alright, I see that one. Where's the other one? I know there's another one. Alright, there he is. I feel like I can handle one werewolf as long as his friends don't suddenly start running in from all directions. Alright, this is going to be textbook. Mm -hmm. Watch this. For a werewolf, he's not very aware. Help! Help! Oh. Uh. Morgan, darling. Save him. <laughs> Very well. Perfect. Alright, let's see what spells we've got. Lightning, we've got vulnerability hex, we could drain life. Don't really need that. Mind blast, flame blast, disorient, heal. A little late for that. Well, Lightning. there is a healing spell oh, that you can revive somebody, I think. <laughs> Who's unconscious. Oh, I don't know if she has the spell, though. She may not have it. We 
are victorious again. Oh, what? This is getting embarrassing. All right. Good to start taking a different approach, I think. What was that? Oh, wrong one. Oh! Gave that to Alistair Whoops. instead of Dirk. Sorry. Hey, Dirk. <sighs> Well, I said I could take one if his friends didn't mm -hmm, come up mm -hmm. from everywhere, which is exactly True. what happened, you'll notice. I wasn't you were not in wrong. fact wrong. But you were unconscious. Thankfully, Morgan I was there was to freeze the werewolves on top of you. Yes. All right, all right. Oh, remind me, which way that's, are we coming? Which that's way back should we go? Alright. We're gonna try down the stairs just to make sure we didn't miss. Haha, of course we did. Of course we did. I found some <laughs> rubble! Don't know that that lesser nature salve yes. helps too much when it got on top of well, me. Well, there's not a salve <laughs> for, like, together. you know... Make up for my woefully inadequate armor, which will not protect me from ravaging beasts. It does allow you to move uh, stealthily and quickly, however, which is useful. Well. That is probably my best plan, isn't it? Just yeah. keep moving. Or, uh, you know, do a little strength training and pick up a little heavier armor. I have been doing strength training. He's Ooh, right, a pile you know, of he's, he's up to twenty-two strength now. Or is it twenty-three? Are you at twenty-three? That's that's oh, that's impressive. <laughs> I mean, I, I started with a lot less than that. <laughs> that's my whole thought. Is maybe I'll have a chance to use it before I'm just mauled yes. utterly next time. Don't get mauled. Oh, Dirk, he was sort of Andrastian. He got mauled by werewolves and drakes. <laughs> that is the only part of <laughs> He got mauled by werewolves remember, and drakes. <laughs> I am opening this door before you remember the spiders. Well, hello. Just gonna walk in, I think. Oh, cool. <laughs> so cool. You're practically in slow motion. I oh, know, I'm so slow this way. Um, hello. Stop! Brothers and sisters, be at ease. Yes, please! We do not wish any more of our people hurt. I ask you this now, outsider. Are you willing to parlay? Oh, thank the maker. Well, we're talking right now, aren't we? So talk. Not with me. I have been sent to you on behalf of the lady. Lady? She believes you may not be aware of everything you should be. Oh, I'm sure I'm not. She means you no harm. Provided your willingness to parlay in peace is an honest one. If you were willing to talk, why didn't you earlier? Swift Runner did not think it would matter. The lady disagrees. And since you have forced your way this far, we must acquiesce to her wishes. All right, then please take me to this lady. Follow me. But I warn you, if you break your promise and harm her, I will come back from the Fade itself to see you pay. All right. I must like you for that. To see the lady, hey. Nice place. Okay, okay, everybody act cool. We are surrounded. Right. I don't see a lady, do you? Unless one of these is a lady and I just can't tell. Honestly, not sure how you could. Right. 
He's just going, oh, hello, that's very good, Dirk. Yep. Very astute. Though, I can tell. <laughs> right. I bid you welcome, mortal. I am the Lady of the Forest. Thank you. I'm glad we have this chance to talk. Do not listen to him, lady. He will betray you. We must attack him now. Hush, Hush Swift Runner. Your urge for battle has only seen the death of the very ones you've been trying to save. Is that, is that what you want? No, my lady. Anything but that. And the time has come to speak with this outsider, to set our rage aside. I apologize on Swift Runner's behalf. He struggles with his nature. Well, don't we all? Truer words were never spoken. But few could claim the same as these creatures, that their very nature is a curse forced upon them. Ah. No doubt you have questions, mortal. There are things that Zathrian has not told you. Right? Such as what? It was Zathrian who created the curse that these creatures suffer. The same curse that Zathrian's own people now suffer. What? Centuries ago, when the Dalish first came to this land, a tribe of humans lived close to this forest. They sought to drive the Dalish away. Well, Zathrian believe. was a young man then. He had a son and daughter he loved greatly. And while out hunting, the human tribe captured them both. <sighs> the humans tortured the boy killed him. The girl they raped and left for dead. The Dalish found her, but she learned later she was with child. She killed herself. So Zathrian cursed them, I take it. Zathrian came to this ruin and summoned a terrible spirit binding it to the body of our great wolf. So Witherfang came to me. Witherfang hunted the humans of the tribe. Many were killed, but others were cursed by his blood, becoming twisted and savage creatures. You said it, not me. Twisted and savage, just as Witherfang himself is. They were driven into the forest. When the human tribe finally left for good, their cursed brethren remained, pitiful and mindless animals. Until I found you, my lady, you gave me peace. I showed Swiftrunner that there was another side to his bestial nature. I soothed his rage and his humanity emerged, and he brought others to me. Why did you ambush the Dalish? Was it for revenge? In part, we seek to end the curse. The crimes committed against Zathrian's children were grave, but they were committed centuries ago by those who were long dead. Word was sent to Zathrian every time the land ships passed this way, asking him to come, but he has always ignored us. We will no longer be denied. <sighs> we spread the curse to his people, so he must end the curse to save them. Please, mortal, you must go to him. Bring him here. If he sees these creatures, hears their plight, surely he will agree to end the curse. He told me the werewolves couldn't talk and wouldn't have anything to say if they could. Why would Zathrian agree to come here alone? If Zathrian comes, I shall summon Witherfang. I possess that power. I also have the power to ensure Witherfang is never found. Tell Zathrian this. If he does not come, if he does not break the curse, he will never find Witherfang, and he will never cure his people. Very well. I'll go to Zathrian and I'll tell him this. Then we shall await your return. Outside of this chamber, the passage leading back to the surface has been opened for you. Return with Zathrian as soon as you can.
was actually sort of hoping to go back the way I'd come. There was some loot. There, there was loot. Loot? Right? Oh, that running around just for some blank vellum. Sad, yes. Oh, here we go. Scroll of Bannister. Good, glad I came this way. Been there, right? Went in there. Right, I went in there. Right, any last sparkles anyone sees? All right, very good. What is this? Ah, and here you are already. Hello. Sotherin, what are you doing here? You have carved a safe path through the forest. 
safe enough for me to follow, anyhow. <laughs> he wishes to see if we did his work for him. Is that not why you were here now, sorcerer? Do not call me that, witch. Oi. I am keeper of this clan, and have done what I must. Did you acquire the heart? No, I didn't. You didn't? May I ask, then, why are you leaving the ruin? I've been sent to ask you to come back to speak with the Lady of the Forest. Oh, is that what the spirit calls herself now? And what does she want with me, if I might inquire? She says she won't summon with a thing unless you break the curse. You do understand that she actually is Witherfang? Yes, I thought as much. She is the powerful spirit of this ancient forest that I summoned long ago and bound in the body of the wolf. Her nature is that of the forest itself. Beautiful and terrible, serene and savage, maiden and beast. She is the lady and Witherfang both, two sides of a single being. The curse came first from her. Those she afflicted with it mirrored her own nature, becoming savage beast as well as human. But the werewolves have regained their minds. I find that difficult to believe. They attacked my clan, and they were the same savages then that they have ever been. They deserve to be wiped out and not defended. Come, I will accompany you back to the ruin. Let us go and speak to the spirit, and I will force her into Witherfang's form. He may then be slain and the heart taken. Won't you at least consider talking to them? Why? You claim they have regained their minds, but they are still savage beasts. Their nature is unchanged. All they want is revenge, or a release that I will not give them. No, let us take the heart and end it. I assure you the werewolves have regained their minds. Even so, they are still the same worthless creatures that their ancestors were. They deserve nothing more than the misery they possess. This is not your battle, Grey Warden. Let us just take the heart and be done with it. Do you still have so much hatred after all this time? You were not there. You did not see what, what, what they did to my son, to my daughter, and so many others. You are Elven. You know what it is like to have injustice thrown in your face. Their crimes could not go unanswered. You can at least meet with them. That's what I propose. And what if it is revenge they want, and not talk? Will you safeguard me from harm? I don't think it'll come to that, Zathryn. I fail to see the purpose behind this, but... Very well. It has been many centuries now. Let us see what the spirit has to say. So here you are, spirit. <sighs> she is the Lady of the Forest! You will address her properly! You've taken a name, spirit? And you've given names to your pets? These beasts who follow you? It was they who gave me a name, Zathrian. And the names they take are their own. They follow me because I help them to find who they are. Who they are has not changed from whom their ancestors were. Wild savages, worthless dogs. Their twisted shape only mirrors their monstrous hearts. He will not help us, lady. It is as I warned you. He is not here to talk. No, I am here to talk, though I see little point in it. We all know where this will lead. Your nature compels it, as does mine. It does not have to be that way. There is room in your heart for compassion, Zathrian. Surely your retribution is spent. My retribution is eternal, spirit, as is my pain. This is justice, no more. Are you certain your pain is the only reason you will not end this curse? Have you told the mortal how it was created? He said he summoned you and bound you to a wolf. And so he did. Witherfang and I are bound as one being, but such powerful magic could not be accomplished without Zathrian's own blood. Ah. Your people believe you have rediscovered the immortality of their ancestors, Zathrian, but that is not true. So long as the curse exists, so do you. No! That is not how it is! 
Just how far will you go for your revenge, Zathrin? I did it for my people. I did it for my son and my daughter. For them, for justice, I would do anything. The curse would not end with Zathrian's death. His life, however, relies on its existence. And I believe his death plays a part in its ending. Then we kill him! We tear him apart now! For all your powers of speech, you are beasts still. What would you gain from killing me? Only I know how the ritual ends, and I will never do it. Ha! You see? We must kill them all! See? They turn on you as quickly. Do what you have come here to do, Grey Warden, or get out of my way! Sathrid, you will end that curse if I have to force you myself. We're standing for what's right here, no matter what. Then you die with them. All of you will suffer as you deserve. I cannot, cannot defeat you. Finish it. Kill him now. No, Swift Runner. We will not kill him. If there is no room in our hearts for mercy, how may we expect there to be room in his? I cannot do as you ask, Spirit. I am too old to know mercy. All I see are the faces of my children, my people. I cannot do it. Would you really let your clan die for this? Perhaps I have lived too long. This hatred in me is like an ancient, gnarled root. It has consumed my soul. What of you, spirit? You are bound to the curse just as I am. Do you not fear your end? You are my maker, Zathrin. You gave me form and consciousness where none existed. I have known pain and love, hope and fear, all the joy that is life. Yet of all things, I desire nothing more than an end. I beg you, maker, put an end to me. We beg you, show mercy. You shame me, spirit. I am an old man, alive long past his time. Then you will do it? You will end the curse? Yes, I think it is time. Let us... Let us put an end to it all. Oh, the clothes came with him. Good, 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 good. <laughs> really, Dirk. Well, it's over. She's gone, and we're human. 
I can scarcely believe it. So what are you going to do now? We'll leave the forest, I suppose. Find other humans, see what's out there for us. It should be quite interesting, don't you think? Thank you. We will never forget you. Well... Well, that went quickly when it went, didn't it? Yeah. You know what I'm sad about? What? I'm sad I don't seem to get any loot from Zathrin. After all that, I thought I'd get his staff off him. Now well, you're getting a better staff from Oregon anyway. I suppose. Let's not get greedy. Oh, and Dirk, I did find out there is actually another secret door. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Did you get everything from over there? Yeah, I think so. All right. Ooh, getting your work out, huh? Mm. All right. It's not that right ahead, is it? I don't know, but get in stealth. Could be. Oh, look at that. Seems so obvious now. All right. Here. What, no enemies? Don't tell me no enemies. Oh, hello, hello. All right. Anything else I should know about? No, that's it. All right. Now I just need to buy that stuff, and then I can give Morgan the best date ever. Ah, I'm happy for you. Wait, what is this? Uh, right. Where are we exactly? Oh, I hate spiders. Have I mentioned I hate spiders? <laughs> Oh, no, I hate them, I hate them, I hate them, I hate them. Hey. Oh, you got some loot. Alright, I got some elf fruit. Oh, the poor thing, look at that. Careful, I'm treating for the matter of death. Oh, it's behind me, isn't it? Right. Killing yourself would have more dignity than shame. That's a little slow. Really hate this. Really, really hate this. All right. Yep, thought I saw that coming. Oh, poor thing. Chip a bit. I saw something over there. Yeah, oh, there's another one.
<laughs> Watch so, the oh, there they are. So, look now. Wipe them out. Oh, come on. We should probably at least help with them. All right, I'm going to go. <sighs> so that went out. Where is it? Must be heading the right direction, at least. Oh, hello. There's a queen, eh? Done. Way to go for the queen. Yes, I occasionally do useful things. Oh, I have to be making a lot of potions. All right, who was it? Morgan, did you just get into trap? Derek, I was thinking, oh, in light of what happened, I think you're wrong to not care about history. You had to find out what had happened with Sathrian and Witherfang before you could very well judge what to do about it. Really. I took the opposite lesson. Sathrian was so stuck on ancient history, he couldn't see the needs of the people living right now. Okay, you have a point. But still, those who ignore history are destined to repeat it. And as an elf, you're definitely dealing with the results of it. I really care more about that my children will have to deal with the results of what I do. And I am making a difference, really. I'm getting respect from humans. And it's not just because I'm a Grey Warden anymore. It's for the things I achieve. But why do you feel such a strong need to get the approval of humans? They're the ones who are wrong, not you. It's not about needing their approval, isn't it? Oh, come on, be fair. If they're really awful, I kill them. Oh. Hang on, Elfroot over there. Deathroot. Okay, well, that is true. But still, you spend a lot of time trying to impress humans, and you tend to get irritated with other elves. I... may have to think about that. But the humans I'm friends with aren't, ha haven't done anything wrong to me or to other elves. Well, they are part of the oppressive system, though. Well, that's just it, isn't it? The system, I mean. Remember Vaughn? What he did. It was illegal. It wasn't like the wall stood behind him or anything. The law wasn't going to do anything to help us because of the prejudice in people's hearts. That's the system. The only way to change it is to touch hearts, and that's what I'm trying to do. It's a tall order for one person. That's one reason I never turned down help. Anyway, I guess the blight comes first. True enough. But to save the world before I can change it. Yeah. It is done. The essence of the wolf's heart has banished all traces of cursed blood from the hunters. It is too bad that Zathrian had to die. I... I felt it when he departed. I think he was ready to go. Did you know about his connection to the curse, Lanaya? 
I suspected. But Zathrian did not like to talk about that. Nonetheless, the curse is over, and no one else will be subjected to it. It will be difficult to fill Zathrian's shoes. He was our keeper for many centuries, and he will be sorely missed. But I am keeper now. Let me say it officially, then. I hereby swear to uphold the terms of the ancient contract our people formed with the Grey Wardens. Call, and we shall come, with great speed and purpose, and we shall strike at your foes. This I swear. Thank you, Zanoia. It has been a long time since the Dalish march to war, but I trust that in the end, we shall make a difference for you. Well, good. And now, I need to sell some things really quick. Oh, where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Farathorn! We are working hard to make enough equipment for all of the hunters. Our armaments will be superior to anything else you find on the battlefield. Good to hear it. I would like to bother with you. I am no merchant, but I have plenty that you may need. Because... Because... Oh, it's finally time. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. It's got to be a secret, so... Last and damnation! Oh, don't even worry about it. Do not even worry yes. about it. Oh, this is going to be brilliant. Let me throw... Did you speak often with Kaelin? You're asking me if I have a relationship with my brother, aren't you? Yes. I wonder what he thought of you. I don't think he cared much about my existence. I didn't mean anything to him. Anyway, to answer your original question, no. We never spoke. Well, maybe once. Marek and Kaylin had come to Redcliffe to visit the Arl. I was very young then. We were introduced. I believe I said, greetings, your highness. He said, ooh, swords, and ran off to the armory. So, yes, that was the extent of our relationship. We drifted apart after that. Very sad. Mm. Oh, that was enlightening. All right. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. I think I can get there without uh, serious repercussions. Oh, my. Was pleasant. Didn't like it. No, no. You're awake. Did you, did you feel it too? It was like the archdemon saw us. Saw us. What does that mean? No idea. I think. Wait. Did you hear that? Oh. Come on, why are they tensing the way? Go to camp. Oh, for heaven's sake, how am I going to kill him? Buddy? You all kill them before I can. Oh. All right. I will kill no one. Well, that was good. I guess it's like Duncan once said. We can sense them, and they can sense us. We'd best be more careful from now on. This camp isn't safe any longer. Huh. What will they send next? Darkspawn tax collector? <laughs> Fortification should be built around the camp. Mm, How idea. unnerving. It will be more difficult to sleep here now. What, no trap? No ambush? Huh. Some assassins. <laughs> oh, I like your perspective, Zephyr. I was in the middle of something extremely important. Let's get on it, folks. Yes. Yes. Oh, I suppose. Indeed.
Oh, for God. Welcome back, youngster. Looking to go across to the tower? Yes, I am. Off we go, then. Let's see. You really killed all those abominations? I didn't think it was possible. I thought we'd all die here. I'm sure you need supplies after that, don't you? Yes, I do. Where is it? <sighs> this is it. Oh, it feels so good. Can I take a look at it? Yeah, yeah, hang on, hang on. It's going to step aside a bit. Oh, look at that. Six willpower, mana regeneration, spell power, fire damage, spirit damage. That's it. Well, Dirk, looking pretty good. All right, now I just have to think. We can. This has to be special. We have to do something special. Well, I think I know though. Oh, come on. Come on. Planning a date. What do you even do? I thought they all turned human again. <sighs> Why can't I just get a date? I have a girlfriend and everything. Just no dates. <sighs> all right. I swear. I don't know what's up with this campfire. All right. All right. Yeah, I think that campfire does nothing. I don't see. Oh, there's something. Okay. 
just want to date. I just want to date. Is it too much to ask? What was that soup you made for supper last night? Oh, that? That's a traditional Ferelden lamb and pea stew. Do you like it? Oh, so it was lamb then. It had a certain texture I don't normally associate with lamb. They didn't make lamb and pea stew for you in Lothering? We ate simply there. Whole grains made into biscuits or bread, and vegetables from the garden, cooked lightly. No heavy stews. Ah, so the last lamb you had was probably cooked all lesion style. Food shouldn't be frilly and pretentious like that. Now, here in Ferelden, we do things right. We take our ingredients, throw them in the largest pot we can find, and cook them for as long as possible until everything is a uniform grey colour. As soon as it looks completely bland and unappetizing, that's when I know it's done. You're having me on. <laughs> you need to eat in more Ferelden inns. <laughs> All right. All right. We have a plan here. We have a plan. We have a plan. Morgan, there's something I wanted to give you. Uh, uh, two things, actually. Um... <laughs> I found this demon pendant and it seemed like just the sort of thing you'd like, and then... Well, from what the Quartermaster of the Mage's Tower told me, this is the best staff in Thetis. And I want you to have the best. A fine gift. You have my thanks. <laughs> Go on, try it out. I shall do it. <laughs> oh, right. Oh, that looks great. Brilliant. Wow. You know... You know, I know you um, weren't too keen on that dress, but really, you look stunning. Ah, oh, she really does. How would you talk her into wearing that? <laughs> really, really, what are you doing here? Uh, why wouldn't I be? I'm your spirit guide, I go where you go. Except when I'm having Morrigan time, we talked about this. Oh, I thought that was just for back at camp. Leave. Okay, okay, um, can't you just answer the question first? What question? Oh, look, I got Wynne to volunteer to do everyone's laundry, so we all had to wear what was clean. You should go check out Sten, by the way. Ooh, I'll do that. Um... Uh, just one thing first, Ruli. You know that as a shape changer, Morgan can turn into a giant spider, right? Right, so? You know she can do that at any given moment, right? Right. Oh. But I'm sure she realizes that there are times when that would be utterly inappropriate and not at all funny, right? You are evil. And with that thought, I will leave you. Bye! Oh, wow. Uh, Sten! <coughs> that, that was a cruel thing to do to you, and I'm sorry about that. Alistair, looking, looking, looking nice, nice, it's, it's, it's not a bad look for you. <coughs> You know, you never did tell me how you passed the time in that cage for so long. No, I didn't. So... what did you do in there? A training exercise. I would observe an object, and then try to think of all the words in your language which began with the same letter as its name. That... Wait, just wait. You're joking again, aren't you? No. You are not telling me that you played I Spy against yourself for 20 days? 
There are a lot of things in Lothering that begin with G. <laughs> oh, Stead, we love you. We love you. 